What's good guys? It's your girl Aubrey. Welcome back to my channel. So on top of doing reaction videos today, I wanted to add in like sprinkle in a different video and I wanted to do 10 random facts about myself. Yes, 10 random facts. Um, and you never know, some of my facts might be fairly similar to something that you've done in life or anything like that. I'm excited to get into this. If you guys have not checked out my last reaction video, I put up to Nicole Kirkland's new choreography to the song, New Frieza. Hey, that is up on my channel right now. So you guys go check that out. Um, but anyways, before we get into this video, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you guys click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you guys will always be notified as I am uploading content. And with that being said, let's get into this video. And if you guys see like this right here moving around, it's because my ceiling fan is on. The first random fact about myself is I hate mushrooms. Yes. Oh my God. I cannot stand mushrooms. And it's like... It's the texture on top of the taste. It's like it the, when you add those two things together, it's just a mixture for disaster. My taste buds are not in agreement with mushrooms whatsoever. It's just one of those foods that it's like, you know how you're younger and you don't like a food, but as you get older, you start to like it. No, that's a food that I have never liked as a kid and I still don't like it now. So I really don't know. I don't think me and Mushroom's ever going to be here with it. I don't think we ever going to be susses. Like, I don't think none of that's ever going to take place between me and Mushroom's because I can't do it. But you never know, like, five years, ten years from now, it might grow on me. But right now, in all my 21 years and two months of living, no. Random fact number two. I have never broken a bone. Knock on wood. Because I'm not trying to break any in the near future. I think it's just because like in school and stuff I've never been, I've never done anything super active that would cause me to break bones. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah I've been in situations where I've gotten injured. But it's like it was never anything super major to where I had to put a cast on or something like that. That hasn't happened to me um, at all. So I'm very grateful for that. And I hope in the near future or for the remainder of my life that does not happen to me because I don't I cringe watching videos where people break their bones or you know stuff like that so it's like uh, I can't I hope I don't want that to be my life no random fact number three my favorite chip in the whole wide world is hot fries yes hot fries uh they are so good I even have a technique on how I have to eat them like hot fries are everything to me and I know like spicy food really isn't good for you. You know what I'm saying? You can get stomach ulcers. It can cause a lot of problems in your future when I'm older. But for right now, it's like I'm I'm a rebel and I'm I be bashing them. I'm talking about I be eating a, a whole bag in like an hour or less. Like that I be having to stop myself. High fries are so freaking good. Like they too good. They too good. Like I don't know. They good AF. Random fact number four, I was in my middle school band and I used to play the drum roll, the saxophone. Yeah, so I used to play the saxophone in my middle school band. Um, it's crazy because most people picture me playing like a clarinet or a flute or a violin, something cute cute. And I'm just like, no, because I felt like people would think that would be what I would gravitate towards. I'm like, I'm going to completely switch it up. Excuse me, and I chose the saxophone. I wanted something that was gonna challenge me, something that would really catch people off guard if, if you know I told them what instrument I played. And it was just different. I was like, it was me and like two other kids and the band that were playing it, and everybody else was like playing trumpet, trombones. I think one person was playing the tuba. But yeah, I wanted to be a team saxophone, and I was like the only female playing the saxophone in our band. So that was very interesting. But it was a fun time. It's something that I wish I would have stayed. I, I would have stuck to. I would have stayed consistent with. Because it was really fun. It was challenging. But I really enjoyed it. Random fact number five. Your girl is a Sag. He asked my son. I said a Sag. Yes, December 7th. I am a winter baby. Sagittarius is where you at though? What's up though? What's good with you though? Like, what's up? 
Random fact number six. I used to take ballet for a month. <laughs> yeah, I took ballet for a month and then I quit. Mainly because like the instructor told me I did not have enough experience to be in the ballet recital that was going to be coming up in a few months. And I'm just like, sis, why would you ever try to hurt me like that and shoot down my confidence? Because yeah, I had started ballet and it was my first go around, but I was not the only one. And I didn't see her pulling them other girls aside like, mm, you can't be in it, you can't be in it. Because the majority of those girls started at the same time that I did. It was their first go around with ballet. So that really set me off the side. And after that happened, I'm like, I'm done. Like, I'm not doing this anymore. Because it just hurt me. Being younger, we're so sensitive. Like, every child is different. But for me, I, I, I'm still sensitive. I was very, very, <laughs> very sensitive back then and anything anybody said to me i took to heart and i was really a sore loser like anything so if anything just went wrong i'm just like it's the end of the world and i was just done i quit never looked back deborah deborah you ain't nothing deborah you i guess okay because deborah if i if i had the personality and the confidence um that i have now back then i would definitely tell deborah like I don't need you no way, Deborah. You do not define me. You do not define the person that I am, honey. <laughs> I'm good without you. Period. How's your ballet classes going now, boo? Tuh. Random fact number seven. When I was a baby, my grandma's boyfriend at that time, he was African and he had a baby naming ceremony for me not too long after I was born. And my African name that was given to me was Olashina. Yes, it's crazy because I didn't find this out until like four years ago, maybe even five years ago that I was this even happened. But I was like, that's pretty cool. Like, because I never knew that uh, at all. Like, well, at one point I knew, but I mean, I was so young. Of course, my brain wasn't going to retain that and nobody ever called me by their name ever. So it's just like, how was I supposed to, not? you know what I'm saying? So when I found that out, I was just taken back like, what you mean, sis? So... Random fact number eight, I used to make and sell my own jewelry. Um, when I was, I want to say maybe like seventh or eighth grade, I had a jewelry business where I would go to the craft store. I would buy assorted containers of beads and stuff like that. I would make my own bracelets. It started out with just bracelets. And then it expanded to like necklaces and then my mom would help me make um, earrings. But yeah, my family were my customers. You know, they would buy um, jewelry for me. They would tell me what design they wanted and I would basically cater to that. And then it got to the point to where my grandma would buy bracelets for me in, in like abundance and give them to people at her job just to spread the word and let people know like, hey, my granddaughter is doing big things. Buy from her. It was a really fun time. I wish, I wonder if I would have stayed consistent and even made like a website or something. Like what would have happened with that? Like what I have still been doing that now or whatever random fact number nine one thing that i lied about yes uh <laughs> i'm gonna just name a random thing that i've ever lied about and this is something i just told my mom yesterday but a long time ago but a very long time ago oh my god i don't even know how old i was i was like maybe seven no, man, not even seven. I had to be like nine, ten, around there. I was going to this summer camp called Westland Center Camp, Westland Center Summer Camp or something. I think it was in 2004, 2005. However, whatever age I was at that time, I don't know. I don't feel like doing no math right now. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was going there for the summer. It was just a really fun experience. And there was somebody, there was a girl there that I was really cool with. And so we just kind of conquered that together and did that together. And there was one time, it was like nearing the end of the summer camp time, you know, like the whole program period, like summer camp was about to be over because school was going to be starting back up. Uh, so basically we went on a big field trip to Kings Island. Like we all went to Kings Island. And like we got on the rides and all that woo woo. And then like in the end we all went to the gift shop just in case any of the kids brought money with them. Extra money for like souvenirs or whatever they could go get that. So I ended up coming home with the necklace. It was it had an A on it for Aubrey, Aria, whatever. And so I was like oh my god that's so cute. Where'd you get that? And I was like oh, oh Chelsea which is the name of the girl that um 
that um was the girl I was really close with I was like oh yeah she bought this for me um yeah she bought this for me and so she's like oh that's so nice of her woo -woo -woo -woo. I was like yeah and I little did my mom know me and Chelsea and some other kids stole those necklaces and we stole keychains the necklaces I think we even stole like little lip gloss from there it we it was so bad so I told my mom the true story yesterday because we were talking about that summer camp and I don't even remember where how we even got on the topic of that summer camp but we were talking about it and then I just remember she's like oh remember when you guys went to King's Island and I was like oh yeah yeah I remember all right <laughs> So y'all yeah, told her that she was like, oh my god, I cannot believe you guys. And I'm like, I can't believe it either. Like, looking at looking back at it now, like I can kind of laugh about it. But back then, just like that's not cool to be stealing from anybody at all. So, um, that five finger discount, it's not cool. Don't do it, don't steal, it's not right. You get in a lot of trouble. By the grace of God, like we didn't get in trouble, but it's like don't be stealing y'all don't be stealing random fact number 10 i love to watch gaming channels yes i freaking love watching gaming channels yes what you doing like i just like before i started recording my videos today i have been binge watching markiplier playing five nights at freddy because if you guys watch uh if you guys are aware of the game theorists youtube channel they do a lot of game theories on five nights at freddy's and trying like to decode the whole game and the meaning behind it and all this stuff and so i have been watching i had already been keeping up with those and they recently put up a new one and so i'm just like well why not watch the king of five nights at freddy's because i have not been keeping up on markiplier in his gameplay with Five Nights at Freddy's. And by now there's like six different Five Nights at Freddy's and they got a book and there's speculations of a movie coming out. Like there's so much and I'm like, I need to get back on track watching Markiplier play. But I love watching Markiplier play. Um Cupquake, I love watching her Zorela. I love watching Zorela. Um the Rad Brad, I love watching him. Yeah, so there are a lot of people that I do enjoy watching um do their little gaming thing. So, yeah, if y'all see me looking over here, I'm looking at my dog because <laughs> he's low-key mean mugging me and I don't know why, but okay. But those are my 10 random facts. If you guys want to go down in the comments and list some random facts about you, um, you can even do some of the ones that I did, like a food you hate, your favorite food or chip, your zodiac sign, something you've lied about, you know, just anything like that. Go in the comments. I want to learn about you guys, so I think that would be a little fun a little fun time down there in the comments so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave me video suggestions and all that in the comment section on top of those random facts i'm not playing with y'all i need them random facts TikTok. you said hashtag and squad on your pictures comments anything like that to get featured also if you guys are having problems with anything and you need some advice my email is in the description box down below hit me up and yeah so i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next video Hey!